Hey Scorpios, welcome to your daily message. Let's get right into it and see what spirit has for you today. Spirit, what do you have for Scorpios? What do I, they need to know at this time? All right, we have slain karmics. Damn, that's a lot of cards. Okay. <clears throat> there could be a brother that's praying for you at this time. Or a mother figure who's praying for you. Okay. There could be a brother. You could have a brother who like, um, I don't know. I feel like this person, this brother is applauding you or, or letting you know how proud they are of you, Scorpio. All right. But I feel like at this time right now, you're definitely slaying karmics. Okay. You are getting rid of all the karmics in your life. Um, let's keep going for my Scorpios. Pedal to the metal. So Scorpio, um, you're definitely on the go here. I feel like you are not even looking back. You're just slaying and going, slaying and going. It's like you're at, like spirit is showing me somebody on a horse, like medieval times, right? Somebody going super fast on a horse with, with like a sword, just shoo, 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 all their enemies while they're on this horse, right? Oh, wow. They're bringing me to that scene. If y'all ever seen the movie Holes and the scene where Katie Barlow, I think her name is, um, kiss, kissing Kate Barlow, she's on her horse and she's just taking down all the ops, she's taking down all the enemies, right? Um, that's kind of what I feel like this is what you're doing on a spiritual and energetic and a physical level, um, removing people from your life here. Scorpio, right now you could be under spiritual attack. So you could be feeling, you could be feeling negative energies around you, which is why you're slaying these karmics. You could be trying to figure out um, where it's coming from, where the negative energy is coming from, so that you can discern and, re and remove who it is, right, or what it is. Um, and then we have not worth it. So there is a situation or a person who may not be worth it, okay, whether it's maybe taking um, some sort of revenge, right, Scorpio, because they put you under some sort of spiritual attack. So something's just not worth it here. A lot of you, your clear audience, you may be... Um, there, you could be clairaudient or your clairaudient abilities are starting to like expand or upgrade or grow here. Um, you could be able to hear spirit very more like your angels and your loved ones very clearly at this time. Okay. You could also like be connecting with music. You might hear, you know, certain music or certain phrases, right? It's part of your clairaudience. So let's get into it for my Scorpios. All right, let's see what slaying karmics is about for Scorpios. Who are these karmics? Who are you slaying? <laughs> Scorpios. Who are these karmics, spirit? Two of swords. Okay, so this is... um, This could be karmics that you've already blocked out. You may not even communicate with them. Um, You may not be engaging with them. Seven of Swords. These are people who are very deceptive, sneaky, lying, cheating. Um, what what is the deception? Yeah, look at this. Five of Swords and Ten of Swords at the cut, Scorpio. These karmics were um, by all means trying to take you out. Okay, deceiving you, uh, talking shit behind your back, betraying you, backstabbing you. You're cutting all these people out of your life. And I feel like it's a lot, Scorpio. I mean, I'm seeing right now so far, one, two, three, um, four, five people that you've possibly had to cut out of your life so, so far because of deception, because of uh, um, jealousy, conflict, manipulation, betrayals. People trying to get one up on you. You look at that. Five of Swords just slipped out. Yeah, and it came out in reverse this time. You're releasing all of this. Tell me more about these karmics. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords, Three of Cups. Yeah, it, it could be... There could be a group of um, three, like a friend unit here. Could even be family. I feel like you're moving past these energies. The high priestess. 
Yeah, there was a lot of secrets people were trying to keep from you. But I also feel like, Scorpio, you're very intuitive. You're very psychic. Okay, you could be a high priestess, whoever I'm talking to. And so um, I feel like you you may do your own divination or your own readings and you may have found out who was being deceptive and who was trying to hide shit from you, um, whoever these karmics were. Give me one more for slaying karmics. Seven of Wands, yeah. I feel like you you um definitely started standing your ground, defending yourself here, protecting your energy, protecting yourself. Look at that. We have what is it? Six people. One, two, three, four, five, six people trying to attack this one person. I feel like it's there's six people who could have been trying to attack you, whether working together or individually or in groups. Okay, there's about five or six energies how many did i count one two three four five so yeah five or six energies who could have been trying to um cause you harm and have some sort of victory over you scorpio we got um pisces energy here tell me about pedal to the metal temperance so some of you may um maybe we're trying to move too fast in something here trying to go all out on something or or, or towards something but <clears throat> temperance is stepping in asking you to be a little more patient scorpio um and knowing that things happen in divine timing okay it's sagittarius energy tell me about pedal to the middle for scorpio knight of swords so some of you could kind of already be in this zen type of energy because you've been slaying karmics and removing people from your life you some of you could already kind of be in the zen um energy and yeah there's there's eight of wands communication coming in out of nowhere and quickly um possibly from a fire sign or an air sign aquarius libra gemini aries leo sag and i feel like this is coming now as you're in in this zen energy i feel like somebody's rushing towards you to um come and say something what is this knight of swords ace of swords oh this person's coming into fuck with you scorpio to tell you some sort of lie yeah knight of cups this is somebody you can't trust look at those sharks at the bottom this is somebody you can't trust this person's about to receive their karma or karma is speeding up. Karma is catching up to somebody here. And you're just needing to be patient, Scorpio. Give me one more for pedal to the metal. Yeah, page of wands. Somebody's coming, trying to come in very, very fast. Like they are um, pressing the gas here to come speak some, sp speak a lot, I guess. Because Ace of Swords in reverse that's not the truth that's for sure it's like somebody wants to take a victory away from you or something like that or um take away some sort of clarity that you have some sort of vision somebody's very um determined uh, about this very impulsive very determined this person could definitely be uh, messaging you calling you yeah, eight of wands. Look at this. Communication. This could be happening over like social media or over the phone. Definitely could be a phone call. Uh, but it's a yeah, page of swords. This person's watching you. They could be gossiping with other people here. What is this ace of wands in reverse? Eight of pentacles and temperance again. So this could be something about work. Or wanting to balance something out. Um, and work together. About wanting to create harmony, balance, compromise. What is, why is the Ace of Swords in reverse? The world in reverse. This person, it's because this person doesn't 
want to close the cycle out with you. This person may be one of the karmics that you're trying to close a cycle out with. You've received like the clarity that you needed. And maybe this person knows because you are the high priestess here, knows that you've received the clarity. And now they're coming in like, no, I got to I gotta throw a lie in there so this person doesn't, you know, kind of hide my hand or hide my face here. Somebody feels like they don't want to close out a cycle with you, even though that they know that's exactly what you're trying to do here. Um, so they're gonna they're gonna try to lie to like keep you in their energy or keep you in their life in some sort of way here. Tell me about under spiritual attacks. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, fire energy, Aries, Sail, Sag, or fixed sign, Taurus, Sail, Scorpio, Aquarius. Tell me about under spiritual attack for Scorpio. Seven of Swords. So somebody who's being deceptive is putting you under spiritual attack. And I feel like it's whoever this person is trying to come in and tell you some sort of lie. I feel like it's to put you, again, you're in this very peaceful Zen energy. You, you're not bothering nobody. You are um, bringing more, you may be meditating more. I feel like you're very aware. I mean, look at Temperance. She has that one eye open. You're very aware of what the fuck is going on, um, Scorpio. But I feel like you're just chilling minding your business working on yourself balancing things out in your inner and outer worlds and this person whoever this deceptive energy is wants to come in and tell you some sort of lie be deceptive all to put you under some sort of spiritual attacks like this person doesn't they're mad you're trying to close out a cycle with them um <clears throat> Yeah, that you've cut them out. You may be avoiding them. Tell me about under spiritual attack. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like this is somebody who um they're very ego driven, or they like their ego stroked is what I is what I just heard. This King of Wands, every time I see him with his hand under his uh, cape there, right? But yeah, there's something about this person is very ego driven. They're very determined to, like, come in and deceive you and lie to you. Like, it gets them off, okay? This person gets off on spiritually attacking you by being deceptive. Like, they get a kick out of it or something. But you know, you know what this person is up to. You may work with this person in some sort of way. This is weird. Okay. Or you may be a teacher or mentor. Or you help this person in some sort. Give guidance to this person. Tell me about under spiritual attack. Who is trying to put my Scorpios under spiritual attack? Two of Wands. Yeah, this person could be watching you online. They could be at a distance from you. But I feel like this is somebody who is planning on um, coming in. Queen of Wands. This person's attracted to you. What? This is crazy because um, this person, you you both are very attractive. You could be attracted to this person. This person could be attracted to you. But you know that this person also um, is a trickster, a liar, a con. There could also be a um there could be a a couple here Scorpio King and Queen of Wands fire energy there could be a couple here who's trying to put you under spiritual attack these two could be trying to plan how to spiritually attack you by coming in with some sort of lie or deception um yeah weird okay the tower yeah Scorpio energy Aries energy here you are Somebody's trying to cause some sort of chaos in your life here. But Scorpio, I feel... Tell me more about this. The Magician and Death. There you are again, Scorpio. We also have Gemini Virgo energy here. You are already... I just keep getting the Empress at the bottom. I keep getting this energy of you being very, very well aware of somebody trying to cause a tower in your life, Scorpio. Possibly using magic with the Magician here. Or trying to manifest something into your life. Um, but this is being cut off 
by, again, you are slaying karmics. You are cutting people out, Scorpio. This is literally you. You know that there are two people. This could be a couple for some of you. For some of you, these are two separate energies who are definitely um, trying to put you under some sort of spiritual attack. I feel like you are figuring out who the fuck this is and cutting cords for good. You're sitting in your Empress energy, Scorpio. You're healing. You're moving forward. But I feel like these people or this per this person or people, they want to keep you stuck. Tell me about not worth it for Scorpio. Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like it's not, you know it's not worth it, Scorpio. It's not worth it to even um engage or acknowledge these, these two hmm, idiots, right? Because I feel like your wishes are about to be fulfilled or granted. I feel like just keep having that faith and optimism. Your wishes are about to be fulfilled. They're like right around the corner, Scorpio. Yep, six of wands, success and victory. Okay, you could be seeing nine, six or six, nine um, as well. Yeah, you're about to receive your recognition and your rewards, Scorpio. So whatever this is, it's not even worth to engage in and whatever this is. Um nine of swords you might be all up in your head about this it might cause you some sort of fear or anxiety here but it's not worth being anxious or uh anxious about or depressed about or anything like that scorpio because you are going to have the success the victory um and the emotional fulfillment the wish fulfillment yeah look at that the star <laughs> i feel like you just need to stay out of your head scorpio because it's not worth stressing or overthinking at all. You're going to receive. Things are going to go in your favor. You're going to receive all the blessings that you want. So these people could try to spiritually attack you all they want, Scorpio. But death is here. Here you are. You're very well aware of who this person or these people are. Could be up to three people. Who are trying to be in competition with you, cause chaos in your life. It's like there's like three people here who are like trying to plan. Two or three people who are trying to plan. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. There could be up to two or three people here. For some of you, it's more. Okay. But there's a specific group of like two or three people who are trying to plan some sort of chaos or how to create chaos in your life, right? How to bring chaos into your life, Scorpio. And here we have Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces. Oh, okay, there we go. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, the Hangman, the Ten of Swords. Um, Yeah, Ten of Cups. They're trying to put an ending to a family situation or your emotional fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. They're trying to delay it. They're trying to bring some sort of painful ending so that you don't receive it. But it's not happening. It's not even worth stressing about, Scorpio. So, uh, let's give some advice for my Scorpios. Spirit, what is the advice here for Scorpios? <laughs> Into the unknown, number seven. All right. Trust in all will be revealed. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times. You're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. Scorpio. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> Let's get some confirmation cards here. Spiritual warfare, and it fell right under the spiritual attack. So spiritual warfare comes right before sources blessings, literally right here. If you are experiencing unusual adversities and the timing seems odd, as you are simply living out your divine mission, know that you are go going to be gifted your blessings. The enemy wants to steal your joy, Scorpio. Don't let them. It's going to be over. Like, death is here. It's like once you receive... Once you receive this awareness and you already know who this is, you're cutting them off. It's it's a wrap. They had their fun, Scorpio. 
you are a high priestess okay so whoever i'm speaking to is definitely a high priestess scorpio sex is sacred so this could have been somebody who was trying to get you in bed um shit it could have been a couple a couple who was attracted to you trying to get you in bed i don't know <laughs> could have tried to make you their unicorn oh shoot lord scorpio what do you do to the people <laughs> what else for my scorpios this connection goes way beyond the physical um and i feel like this is your connection to spirit connection to source um it goes way beyond the physical um you're very connected tell me more for my scorpios you're unforgettable so This is why these, this person or these people, these karmics are spiritually attacking you. It's because you are unforgettable. They don't know what to do with your energy, Scorpio. So if they can't have you, it's like, well, I'm just going to try to destroy Scorpio. I'm just, you know, they're obsessed with your energy. Vacation mode. Some of you could be um, going on a vacation soon or these are the part of the blessings that are coming in. You're going to be able to relax here because it's your destiny to be wealthy, Scorpio. And that's what these people were trying to block. You could be very fertile at this time. Um, and, and if this is not in the, you know, fertile, like pregnancy wise, this could be like you're very fertile with ideas at this time, Scorpio. Very creative. And three, two, one, get ready for takeoff. Yeah, some of you could literally be traveling, going on a vacation, going on an airplane. Or there is something that is taking off for you here. Something, a creative project, something you're giving birth to. Okay. We have summer. So summer, next summer could be significant, okay? Or this past summer could be significant in regards to this these spiritual attacks. Um, step away from drama and gossip. Yeah, that's what these two are, are all about. It's drama and gossip and causing chaos. Like, they get off on it. July. So something about July and summer is very significant here in regards to this... Um, <clears throat> this message here scorpio what else for my scorpios milk and honey prosperity fertility abundance life is good and easy so you guys are stepping into this energy of having milk and honey having things like come easy to you again you're you were in that empress energy that i saw scorpio you're very fertile at this time very um like the seeds that you plant will flourish will bloom there's a lot of prosperity and abundance don't mix business business with pleasure. So some of you, this person or these people could have been, um, these again, these could be people that you work with, like I said, that I was picking up, who were trying to come in and like, I don't know, <laughs> use sex or something here. I don't know. Tapped into spirit. Like, did, what did I say? You guys are very tapped into spirit. Your high priestess is here, whoever I'm talking to. Yeah, dark energy is attached to this person and then right under that was karmic family so this this is a karmic family you're dealing with or this these two are like family members or or they have a family together i don't i don't know scorpio but anyways um let's get a little more detail this is my astrology deck 411 astrology deck i'll put the link down below where you can purchase it um let's get some signs zodiac signs for who this king of wands could possibly be Okay, we have Scorpio here, eighth house. This person could have Scorpio in their chart. Um, house of sex and death, transformation, sexuality, death, inheritance, <clears throat> spouse's money, excuse me, spouse's money, occult, things that must be left behind. So you are leaving this person behind. This person was trying to use um, magic, the occult, sex, or whatever here to, to get you under spiritual attack, Scorpio. But Scorpio, here you are coming in. <laughs> All right, you are ruler of the occult. You are ruler of magic and sexuality and all this stuff. So whoever was trying this bullshit on you got the wrong one. Tell me about. Uh, give, tell me about. Give me another sign for this King of Wands. All right, we have more Scorpio energy, Aries energy here with Mars. Action, determination, aggression fuels movement, physical passion, lust. Um. Yeah, I feel like this person was um, very lustful, okay? They could have been using, like, sex magic or I don't freaking know. Um, but I feel like this person is very determined to take you down. Like, that's crazy. 
All right, tell me about this Queen of Wands. We have Pisces energy. So this person could be a Pisces or have Pisces in their chart. Secrets, fantasies, dreams, hidden desires, fears. This is the, the 12th house, house of the unseen realm. Um, so this is, whoever this Queen of Wands is, um, you could have been having dreams or this person could have been popping up in your dreams, whoever this Pisces is. Um, doesn't have to be Pisces. But whoever this Queen of Wands was definitely showing up in your dreams. And I feel like this who, this Queen of Wands is connected to that King of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Capricorn energy, Saturn. Time, regulations, restrictions, hard work, resilience, harsh, unemotional, tough love, difficult challenges. So this is somebody who's going through some sort of karma here. I like to call Saturn Daddy Karma 2244 on the timer. So this could be somebody going through some sort of karma. <clears throat> restrictions as well we have the waning crescent moon uh coming out as well here opportunities optimism overview on life honor accomplishments connect with self detach rest end of old cycle prepare for new beginnings so whoever this queen of wands is um you may have detached from this person cancer pisces scorpio energy here intuitive emotional more aries energy here um, intuitive, emotional, sensitive, mysterious, refreshing, depth, intense dreams, and psychic. This is what I'm saying. I feel like you're definitely having some sort of intense dreams with whoever this Queen of Wands is. This person has definitely popped up in your dreams before. It, a very vivid dream at that. Um, and you may, this, these, they both may have popped up in your dreams. In very vivid dreams popped up together. So, so you know who these two people are. We have Aries energy here. Okay. <clears throat> Strengths, courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, passionate, weaknesses, impatient, moody, short-tempered, impulsive, aggressive. So this, um, whoever the, the feminine is here, the queen of wands, could be moody, aggressive, impulsive, um, but also, just like I said about this king of wands, determined to kind of bring a tower into your life, Scorpio, but you are the fucking tower. Here's the full moon. The last full moon could have been very significant here. Uh, we have transformation, release, completion, abundance, fertility. Again, fertility is very, very heavy here. Um, guidance, healing, magic, psychic abilities, cleanse and charge crystals and divination tools. These people could have been trying to um, fuck with your womb here, Scorpio. They could have been trying to fuck with your fertility in some sort of way, whether it's for you to have a, a, a child or they were messing with your fertility so that you're not able to create things um, to bring success into your life. But that's... Uh, about to be fucking over anyways okay Scorpio this is your reading like comment subscribe and share until next time